Hey guys, my name's Melody. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, if you have, you know who I am somewhat, maybe, I don't know. Um, today, as you all have seen, because you click on this video for a reason, we are building my computer finally. For those who have been following me for a little while, it's something that I've talked about doing for quite some time, but it takes some money to buy all the parts. So I saved up the money and then I decided I wanted to wait till around Black Friday because I knew there might be some sales and I did actually get some really good deals. Um, basically what happened was there was one part that was on sale and Thomas, my boyfriend was like, hey, buy this part, that's a really good deal. And then he just like kept clicking and kept finding deals. So almost every part that I bought was on sale. I think there were like two or three parts that weren't. Um, so really I did get some good deals, whether it was like $15 off something and then like $50 off of another thing, it does add up. I think I saved at least $300, if not more. Um, I am gonna be honest, I don't know too much about building computers, which is why Thomas is helping me and he's gonna be actually doing the putting together while I film it. But I wanted to go through and just kind of show you guys the parts that I got. If I remember, I'll try to get them all in the description box below so that if there's a part you want, you can find it easily. Um, I personally don't know too much about what you need in a computer. I mean, I know like some basics, but if you're trying to like do your own build, um, a custom build, it really just kind of depends on what you need that computer for. So in my situation, the first thing was I am going for an aesthetic. I wanted something preferably white with RGBs, of course, because who doesn't want RGB lights in their computer? So I wanted to go with a lot of white and there were a few instances where I did pay extra to get something that was white because the white was more expensive for whatever reason or the black was on sale and the white wasn't. Um, so I spent a little more money, but I got some, so many deals on other parts that it kind of balanced out, I guess. So that was part of it. And then the second part is what I'm actually using the computer for. So obviously I want to start switching video editing from my MacBook to this computer. The problem that I have with my MacBook is that it runs out of storage space and I can't do long art videos or anything like that. For a while I've been wanting to do time-lapse videos of art and I do that, but a lot of times I either have to cut the clips or keep the pieces that I film small. And I've had a hard time wanting to work on anything that takes like 20 plus hours because I can't make any content out of it and I'm spending so long on it that it's hard to kind of justify it. But with a computer like this, I'll have a lot of storage space so I can upload all of my video footage and actually use it as a iMac will kind of freak out. Um, I think the most I can upload is like 25 gigs. Uh, and vlogs sometimes get to that point if they're longer ones. So it'll allow me to do more with videos. I'm hoping to use DaVinci Resolve. And basically what I did was I looked at the specs that were required for that program and then also looked on Reddit and other places and looked to see what people said they were running it on because for their specs they recommended, I think like an i9, but their minimum was i7, but other people were running it on lesser things and saying that it was totally fine, totally smooth. So I really want to try to learn that program because I think there's a lot of stuff that it can do. There's just a learning curve and I need to figure out how to do all that stuff because I don't know how to do anything. So if there's any good like tutorials or YouTube videos, um, link them, like comment because I need to I need to watch them. I need to learn how to do things because I won't have iMovie anymore. Um, so yeah, that, that's it. And then basically I'm also going to be using it for like gaming and stuff. I don't hardcore game, but I want to be able to run games. I also have a 4K computer monitor, so it would be nice to be able to actually use it. Currently the computer I'm using, if you try to run games or like video footage or anything in 4K, it just kind of like, it's it lags. It does not load well. It doesn't render very quickly. So it's just kind of frustrating. Um, at the moment, I don't have a camera that can shoot in 4K, but it would be nice to get to that point at some point. Um, so maybe if I ever shoot in 4K, my computer will be able to run it. I can see it on my monitor. It'll be great. So anyway, I'm going to get into the parts and we're just going to um, unbox them and I'll show you what I got. So the first thing is the actual case itself. Um, it's 
a really big box. I'm sorry you can't see me <laughs> doing this. Um, a lot of these parts I made keep in plastic until Thomas comes and uh, decides to help me put it together. Um, I don't know how to take this out because it is stuck in here pretty good. I don't know if this is going to work. You know what? The case you're going to see um, as it's getting put together because I can't get it out of the box. But if you're wondering, <laughs> it looks like that. Can you, can you see that? Um, it's white. Uh, it's, it says on the thing an H510 compact mid tower ATX case, if that means anything to you. Again, I'll try to have it in the description. Um, Thomas has the same computer case, but black. So the next thing I have are some fans. Um, this is one of the items where you can find black fans really easily and you can find like knockoff ones or like different brands for pretty cheap. You can't for white though. White, we tried seeing if there were any other brands. Corsair was one of the only brands we could find that had white and so I just said, you know what, I'm gonna pay extra for it because I like the way it looks. There's some stuff in there. So it comes with three, which is unfortunate because I only need two. But this is what... put that back in. This is what it looks like. Obviously, um, there will be lights. So there's that. The next thing we have, which is kind of related, is this super chilled hydro series. H100i RGB Platinum SE Extreme Performance 240 millimeter RGB Liquid CPU Cooler. That's a really long title, but I literally just read <laughs> what was on there. So I'm um, sorry. But they match these, which is, we'll hold it up for you. They match. Um, and that was part of the reason for getting the Corsair white ones. We probably could have gone with other ones, but I like the fact that those look the same as these ones. And I like things to match. This is one of those things that like, it probably doesn't look that cool out of the box, but in the actual computer will look cool just because of the RGB lights. Um, see if I can figure out how to open it. Yeah, this, I mean, some of this will be cut out, maybe, I don't know. It's still in all of the plastic, but this is what it looks like inside the box, if you're wondering. I'm going to leave it like that for Thomas to deal with. Um, I'm opening all of this partially so I can show you guys, and partially so that when he comes to help me put everything together, it's already semi-open. It's just one less thing to worry about. Next thing I got, which isn't really, I mean, it's computer related, but not really, is extension cables. Um, the way I'm gonna have it set up, it's gonna be on a shelf above my desk. So I needed long cords. So I have several cords that I bought just because I need ones longer than I already have. And that same category is this Amazon Basics cord. And this Amazon Basics computer cord. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, um, so like I was saying, I'm having the computer be on a shelf that's above my computer. This is like a remote start for, for your computer. So I think there's like, I don't know exactly how it works. So basically you can start your computer without having to actually touch it. And because I won't be able to even reach my computer, that'll be very convenient. 
Then we have solid state drive. Um, exciting. I got this 860 EVO, EVO, I don't know, it's Samsung. It was on sale and um, I guess it's pretty good. So <laughs> that's what I got. Um, I also got this guy. Yay, exciting. Um, and then also <laughs> quick straps. Um, I don't know if this is a little extra, but again, with it being on the high shelf, if there ever was an earthquake or something were to happen, hopefully this would prevent it from falling and breaking everything on my desk and breaking itself. Because I don't want it falling on my monitors or anything like that. The next thing is my processor. So like I said, I got the Ryzen 7. Um, at least I think I said that. So I got the Ryzen 7 because looking at all the programs that I'd be using, at some point I would like to use Adobe Photoshop and stuff like that. It seems like this should work for everything that I ever need to use. At some point, maybe I'll upgrade, but for the time being, this is totally sufficient for what I need. And then we have our motherboard. Um, I can't really tell you much about this. Again, this was on sale. It's a motherboard. I don't know. And then we have these. Again, Corsair, very pretty in white. Um, if you know a lot about computers, is this like one of the only companies that does white things? Because when we were looking on Best Buy, it seemed like Corsair was one of the few places that had white products. Um, but thank you, Corsair. I appreciate it. So I believe with all of these in there, it's going to have 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty nice. Again, this is something I don't know that I really need to open on camera. You'll be seeing all these parts in a time lapse. Um, the one thing I will say is my power supply has not arrived yet. I ordered it from Newegg like a week and a half, two weeks ago. And literally every day for the last week, the update on the shipping says um, like a delivery delay is expected. And that's all it says. But I'm going to use an old one from Thomas until that one has arrived. So let's get on to actually building this computer. <laughs> 